Hi Luke, uh, thank you for, for this uh, interview. Um, let's talk about your fight yesterday. You did an amazing fight. Um, what's your feeling about fighting here in England at home? I mean, I, I didn't know how it was going to be fighting in England because it had been a little while, but it was incredible, you know. Um, the crowd were amazing and uh, very, very loud. Even Andrew, I spoke to Andrew after the fight and he said, when you walked out, the crowd went mental and he like he said it affected him you know that how crazy the crowd were so fighting in england it's been been a great experience and what what to expect more than to have the fight of the night uh, it's been honestly this week has been the most perfect week to ever perfect perfect build up to the fight my teammates and everything everyone got there had tickets for everyone everyone got to watch you know I, um, I said I was going to knock him down with the right hand. I did that twice. Um, I finished with a submission. I got, you know, I got the finish that I wanted. I got fight of the night. You know, it's been, I couldn't ask for more. It's been such a great week. It's unbelievable. So a big party yesterday night uh, to, <laughs> to celebrate the victory, you know? Yeah, that's why I look like I do and I sound like I do. And, you know, we were out till five, six in the morning partying and having fun. And, You know, all of my friends came, my brother was there, all my family were there and, uh, you know, it was fantastic and, you know, that's what you got to do after a fight and then, then back to hard work. What's next for you or so? Well, hopefully 8-0, you know, you know, that's what's next. I'm, I'm looking at trying to, I want to be like an assistant coach on the Armour Fighter in Brazil with Chael. We're trying to work that out, I don't know how that's going to happen. Um, and they're trying to bring an Armour Fighter to England and I'd love to coach it. You know, I know it's, I'm very short in my career, very early on, but you know, it'd be probably be a year before they start filming and you know, I'd love to do it. They're doing a UK Armour Fighter, so I want to be the new guy in the UK that everyone knows about and uh, being a coach on there would be great against another UK guy or, or whatever, you know. Can we expect to see you fighting uh, for the next event in London? I, I imagine so. Uh, it's March 8th, I believe, in London, and uh, I'm, I'm pretty sure they'll, they'll have me on there if I'm not doing Tough Brazil, because that's the same sort of date. But um, yeah, that, I, I don't know. I, I'll see. Like, London's like my hometown, pretty much. It's about an hour away, so that would be amazing. But I want to travel, you know, I want to get around. I'd love to fight in Australia. I'd love to fight in Singapore or Japan or somewhere like that. It'd be an amazing experience. But I'll always want to come back and fight in England. When do you have free time? Uh, what's your what's your hobbies? Uh, going and watching fights. I'm going. I'm going out in three weeks. I fly out to Vegas to watch Chael Sonnen beat the shit out of Rashad Evans. Sorry for my language. Um, I like Rashad as well. I think it's going to be a great fight. GSP Johnny Hendricks. You know, I get to do that. Have have a few drinks. Enjoy myself for a couple of weeks, and I'm back to work. So, what what do you think about the fight uh, Sonnen against uh, Silva? It's uh, something against Vanderlei, you mean? Yeah, yeah against Vanderlei. Yeah, um, I think, you know, Chael's a very intelligent man, you know, and Vanderlei Silva has fell, finally he's fell hook, line and sinker for Chael Sonnen, and, and it's a match made in heaven for Chael. He'll destroy Vanderlei. I, I think everyone's talking about the Vanderlei fight, but I think Rashad is a much, much tougher opponent. Chael knows that, and uh, he's concentrated on that, and I think it's going to be a big, big night um, that night. And, you know... It's sort of like my fight was. The guy I was fighting is a very tough dude, you know, real, real, real hard guy to beat. And Chow's in the same situation. He's got a very, very tough fight against Rashad Evans, 50-50, and hopefully he can pull it off. Yeah. Thank you very much for for this interview, and we wish you the best Thank for your you. career. Appreciate it. Thank you, Luke.